Hi guys, this is John Clark again from Belgium with another tutorial. Um, today we're gonna talk about the way how I create my own complex loops. Um, and I use this as a top loop on the standard uh, yeah, drums group uh, with the hi-hats, the closed hi-hats, the claps, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, let's let's get it on, I would say. So we will start with, with this loop that I already consolidated it. Um, so yeah, I, I need to repitch this um, because originally it was minus 18. And this is just a normal standard African loop that I will play right now. It sounded like this, but because um, I repitched it and consolidated it, now I have to repitch again. And uh, because um, my settings were on beats, it sounds a bit strange. Uh, so please keep in mind of it. Um, okay. So then I repitched this. Uh, so plus uh, 18, and it sounds like this. Um, this loop already has some uh, yeah, techy vibe on it, uh, or progressive vibe. But um, I've reused this loop, and uh, I've pitched it again till uh, I think it was minus 12. Yeah, over here you can see minus 12. Uh, and it sounds like this then. Where is the gate off? Okay. Um, yeah. Sounds like this. Okay. So I've also placed the gate on it. Um, so I can cut the parts that I, I didn't want to hear. Mm, it sounds like this. Uh, already, yeah, I got it some high and low frequencies over here. And I wanted to play a bit with the um, auto filter. This is an automation. Um, and I will show you how I use this in this loop. Okay. This is the auto filter, let's set it the frequency. So here is the a change in the um, eight bar loop. And that's the first change. It's a um, yeah, very slight difference, but uh, it's there. Um, then, I went a bit further and uh, the result was this one. So I consolidated this loop with the gate. Okay. And the result of, of this loop is actually this one. Uh, so it's all a bit about uh, resampling and rebuilding, uh, reconstructure the loop. Uh, so let's go. Um, I thought it was interesting to cut some um, cut some sounds from out of this loop and place them over here and in in the section over here. I've used the filter here. I've used uh, the low pass filter, I think so. Yeah, a low pass, but here a high pass. So I can have uh, a change in an, air, in an eight bar loop. As you can hear, here's the high pass. That works over here. 
So I will play the loop completely. So you can hear over here, there's a change with the filter and over here is a change with the filter. Um, then what I did as well to create this loop much more interesting uh, is putting a change over here and this uh, section I have created also out of this loop it sounds like this um, as you can see I also use the gate I think uh, it must be this sound that I uh, cut it and placed over here. Also, again, I have used the filter automation. Here you can see over here the automation. And over here, uh, it reverses. Really uh, minor changes I did over here, but it's there. So you can see uh, with resampling, you can build your own complex loops and you can play with the filters. So the movement of the loop um, yeah, can change uh, after eight bars. Um, okay, so now I will open a project where I use this loop. Uh, I will show you a part how it sounds in, a, in one of my tracks that will come out later this year. So the track calls Mystic Rivers. And here I will uh, use um, the top loop that I have created over my standard yeah, drum loop. Yeah, it's kind of a big project, so uh, it takes some time. I just hope uh, there's not a crash. <laughs> yeah, okay, here we are. Okay, so this is a track, Mystic Rivers, and here you can see my complex loop and uh, here are my standard drum loops with hi-hats, closed hi-hats, claps and the reverse clap. Um, so let's play this section. Uh, I will not play the whole track because uh, I still wanted to keep this bit of a secret. Okay. Um, so this is the complex loop over here and uh, added some extra perk hits as well to make it a bit more interesting and this is how it sounds like. So here are the extra perks. Uh, the perk 2, perk 3. Um, this is an extra perk hit as well. And this too, yeah. So um, while doing this, you create some kind of a question answer thing in, inside of your loop, which is very interesting. Uh, let's play it again. So you can hear this loop also has uh, some kind of a froggy thing. Um, 
that is also the reason why I call the track Mystic Rivers. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, over here you have the drum loop, the drum groups, excuse me. And uh, so this will be the, the top loop of my drum loop. Uh, and this sounds like this. <laughs> Let's check that again. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is a complete uh, drum loop with uh, my own complete loop. play uh, the whole section Let's check that out mm. okay loop uh, well I hope you enjoy this tutorial and yeah, you can be creative with your own complex loops by yourself till next time take care bye